My name is Johanna Agerman Ross and I'm a curator at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. I look after the collection of furniture and product design from the 20th and 21st century. The Woba bottle, which is short for World Bottle, is really an experiment. It came out of an idea that Alfred Heineken, the owner of the Heineken brewery factory in the Netherlands, had when he went on a business trip to the Caribbean. And he found that there was so much litter on the streets and on the beaches, and especially glass bottles. He also noticed that the local population didn't really have readily available building materials. So he thought, would it be possible to create a bottle that was reused as a building block? And that's really how a brick that holds beer was thought of. The design of it was created by an architect called John Habraken. If you look more closely at the features, it has two flattish sides that are covered in bumps. And these bumps are there to hold the mortar, which is sort of the glue to hold the bricks together. And you also have a slightly shorter neck on the bottle. And that's in order for that to be able to slot in to the void that's at the bottom of the other bottle. The Wobo bottle was first manufactured in 1963 and around 100,000 bottles were made. They were intended for commercial use, but it never really took off as a concept. The reasons for this, they often say, is that the bottle wasn't so pleasant to hold in your hand. So in some ways it's interesting to see that what was working as a building material didn't really work for its primary use as a bottle to drink from. The bottle was designed at a time when consumption was at an all-time high in the 20th century, post the Second World War, where, of course, increased consumption led to increased waste. And nowadays we have a lot to learn from that, how you can think more innovatively about how to use waste and how to repurpose it for new functions. I think that's why the Wobo bottle is still a very inspiring object to look at and learn from.